Okay guys, so here we are. I want to call it the new house, but clearly it's like an older house. But if you ever hear me say new house, it's just because it's the new house that we just bought. But we've got a lot of cleanup to do around here. We're gonna start some of the demo. We're gonna have another demo coming up, but we wanted to make sure we got the bid in um, and we were happy with it before we just start like going through the house and tearing major pieces out. But we did start in this video on pieces that we were doing no matter what. But we're gonna start outside. They have leaves everywhere and I don't like it being so close to the AC unit. And to me, leaves just look like clutter. It's just extra stuff. Um, but these little claw things were left in the garage from the renters that were here before. They are amazing. So I'm gonna link these down below in my description box for you. You can find them on Amazon. They're super affordable, but that way you're not like putting your hands in leaves. Like if there's snakes or bugs or ants or worms or whatever, you're not having to touch them. I was planning on using them, but Chase got his hands on them and loved them. So this would be a really cool gift. Like if you're my family, you're probably gonna get these for Christmas because I think they're that amazing. Okay, so on top of not having to touch the actual like dead leaves and all of that, look how much bigger of a handful you can get because they're so big. I don't know. I know it's something so silly to talk about, but it just sped up the work so much. And like I said, you don't have to touch it. So those are definitely for the win. So if you're not caught up on my videos and you're like, what the heck is going on? This is not your house. We went ahead and bought a house to renovate it and to um, make it an Airbnb. And so we're so excited about it, but it is an older house. Like I wanna say it's like 83 years old and we're gonna do as much of the work that we can, but we also have a contractor to do all the work we can't. And one thing we can do is clean up. So whether it's your house, your rental, and you're trying to save money, you can do the cleanup. You can even do most of the demo, maybe not all of it, but anything you can piece out and keep as much for yourself as possible, it really will save you money so much. Like right here, it did not take long and look how much better it already looks with just the leaves gone. Granted, we need dirt, rock, grass or something, but just getting all the leaves picked up, it looks so much better and it's so much better for your house. Just taking out the time in your day to clean up all these like little nooks and corners that has like grass and rocks. It's just like clutter, just like it is in your house. And you clean it up, it's gonna look so much better. Even if it's not perfect, maybe I need mulch, maybe I need a flower bed, but I'm telling you just by cleaning up, it's gonna look so much better. It's gonna look fresher. Your neighbors will appreciate it. Right here, we had a branch going onto the roof. Um, somebody was gonna charge us like $100 to cut it down. Chase can do that. He got on the ladder, cut it down. If you can't, hire somebody, but there are a lot of things you can definitely do yourself. Look right here. Like we need to haul off that purple box right there. But until then, everything looks clean. The concrete's been cleaned off, all the leaves. Now we're gonna head inside for a little bit. So we didn't realize until we bought the house that this isn't plaster walls. It is plaster walls with a textured wallpaper on top of it. So um, the contractor said, go ahead and start taking some off. And then he was coming the next day with like a wall expert to check it out. 
They totally have a plan for it. It's not as bad as we were thinking, but when I was first peeling this off, I was like, oh my goodness, what did we get ourselves into? Um, so yeah, you're gonna see me just pull off as much as I can. He said to get anything off that I could, but if it was like stuck on tight, don't touch it. So that's kind of like why I stop in a certain places and I don't keep moving forward. From the moment I first walked into this house, this like crown molding at the top was driving me crazy. I knew if we bought the house, I was gonna take it down immediately. It was like the thinnest, narrowest <laughs> crown molding. And for some reason they left a gap in between the top of the ceiling and the crown molding. Now, one of the contractors we had in, we had quite a few to make sure we got a good deal, but they said since they were plaster walls, sometimes people would hang like pictures from that. They'd put a nail above it and it would help hold it in. I'm not sure, I don't know if that's right, but either way, I knew I didn't want it, so Chase is gonna go ahead and start taking all of that down. I know right now there's not a big difference because they didn't paint underneath it. So it kind of looks like it's still up, but when all these walls get like skimmed really well and repainted, I think it's just gonna look so much nicer and cleaner and more crisp without it up there. Now, if you love crown molding, you could add it back up there. If I did, I would add a thicker one, but I really don't wanna spend the extra money since it is a rental. I think it looks really clean and pretty without it. It's just right now the house is destroyed. So everything's gonna look worse. I, I just feel like when you're decluttering, cleaning, renovating, whatever it is, things always get worse before they get better. But now we're going to start moving on to the second room. This honestly did not take long at all. So if it's something you want to tackle or you're needing done, you can do it yourself. And here is a little example of how not to paint. Did you see how they painted like around um, the smoke detector? Definitely take a brush and always finish that out so it doesn't look like how that looked. <laughs> We are gonna leave up the blinds. We're keeping all of them, saving these wood shades. I'm gonna add curtains later, but I'm having Chase take down the curtain rods just so when they work on the walls and paint, they're not up there. However, I am keeping those rods. They're gold, they're cute. I will have him raise them next time. I won't use them in the same spot, but hey, that saved us some money. So far, we're not having to buy blinds, curtain rods, and all the floors are looking amazing. So those are the areas where we're gonna be able to save money. Um, along with the demo. So just by Chase doing a lot of the demo and friends and family helping us, that's gonna save us thousands of dollars. This area that Chase is working on right now, this was like the master closet and I think they originally had a desk in here and then when they went to show it, they took the top piece out but there's still a lot of the sideboards. So we're just removing that. So the walls are nice and flat so we can work on those later and paint them. But now we're gonna take down this like closet organizer. These were the biggest drawers I've ever seen in my life and they were so heavy but Chase was taking down this whole like built-in system. Um, if you saw our last video, we're turning this into a really cool kid's bedroom. Um, so we needed to get all of this out of here. So currently while we are like renovating our house, our neighbor is building their dream house and it's actually so fun to watch. I know some people are like anti 
construction, but we enjoy it. And he had this huge like crane out putting on his roof. So I thought I'd share it with you. It almost looks like they're putting something on our house, but it's not, it's to the left. Um, so I thought that would just be fun to see if your kids are watching. It was really a neat process. Um, but as you can see, Chase is still working on getting this piece taken out of the closet. We are doing the very best we can as we demo out to kind of take it slower and not kind of like how you see on TV where they're just like knocking everything out because we don't want to damage anything that we could possibly keep um, that doesn't have to be replaced. We're not like trying to knock holes in walls. We're trying to be careful with like the window sills. Um, I'm gonna show you right here. You can see there's a gap here, but there's actually supposed to be a trim board there. So like it is on the other window right here, we have that same trim out in the garage. They actually left us some, I guess, from when they added it. So we'll be able to add that in at the bottom and have it painted and you will never know that it wasn't there. This space already feels so much bigger now that that big closet system was out. There wasn't even a lot to it, but it was just super heavy and wide. Um, so it was taking up even more space than we realized. As you can tell, we have like three different colored walls in there. That's not gonna matter. Everything's gonna be painted the same color, cleaned up. I cannot wait to like decorate this space. I think um, this space looks bad, but I think you guys are gonna be shocked how cool it is when we're finished with it. Since it is an Airbnb, that's why I don't mind making it into a kid's bedroom that's just attached right there. Now, if we were to ever sell, I could stage this as an office or I could turn it back into a walk-in closet. Either way, it's not gonna take much, but for how we're using it, it's just gonna function so much better with twin beds in it. Now we're gonna move on to the closets. Sorry, it looks super yellow. It's like a sauna, but the lighting in there is really bad. Plus there's a lot of like orangey wood. There was something about these closets that look like a horror movie to me. Like I, they were so scary to open. So now we're gonna start ripping some of this out. They had that really awkward bench in there. Um, we're gonna take out where they used to have shelves in here. This wood looks like wood, but that's actually like a really thin layer of wallpaper in there that we're gonna fix. Basically, when we're done with this closet, it's gonna look brand new. It's gonna be nice and clean and white and fresh, and it's really not gonna take that much work. The main part was just like getting these few pieces out, and honestly, I could have gotten these out if I needed to, so don't be scared to like go in there, demo what you can if you can't ask for help, but it's typically not as hard as you think it's going to be. Chase is taking measurements here. We're not sure if we're gonna panel this or if they're skimming it. We're not sure if that's in the bid yet, but we went ahead and measured them out just in case. 
Um, we can run to Home Depot and buy like paneling and nail it up in here and paint it and it will look nice and new and fresh. But I wanted to show you while all this was going on, we did have workers out and they were adding a pump underneath our house to push out some of the water it was holding. So I just kind of wanted to show you that was going on too. We just weren't really a part of it. So it is another day now and I know this isn't like a demo, but anytime you get a new house, I feel like it's really important to take care of it, make sure you're maintaining it. We have really sweet neighbors all around us and so we don't wanna just let it go. So even though we're like demoing the inside, we wanna make sure the outside is still presentable. So Chase is gonna go ahead and mow. Um, who we bought it from really never came over there at all. We still had their mail when we moved in. They hadn't mowed or anything. So we brought a lawnmower over and Chase is gonna go ahead and get this yard cut. It's actually a really big yard to be like in the city. I love it so much. And you guys know like water issues follow us around and you know, yards not being level, but this one's actually just really beautiful. And it was so pretty to see it like freshly mowed. <laughs> FYI, I see that like glare or blur across the screen. Um, I noticed it when I was editing and I grabbed my camera and it was scratched, but I did go have my camera replaced. So you won't see it anymore like that. I'm so sorry. Some scenes you notice it in and some you don't, but this one you could really tell like with Chase mowing, there's like a blur there. My lens wasn't dirty. It had like a huge scratch against it. So I don't know when that happened, but I promise you it'll be fixed <laughs> in future videos. Now we're gonna move on to the gutters and you're probably like, wait, this is not demoing. It actually was, they were so full. You can tell nobody had cleaned them out in years. This one wasn't as bad. We're gonna show you over to the other side here in a second. And it was almost like a compost bin. Like there was so much soil in them. So over the next few clips, you're gonna see how bad they were and how much was in them. So they were literally doing us zero good. They had weeds growing out of them with like roots on the end. That's how bad they were. So this is just a friendly reminder. If you have not cleaned out your gutters in a while, definitely go do it now or soon. We are gonna get some guards on top of them. I noticed our neighbor had them. I don't think we'd need them around all the gutters, but on this side where that big magnolia tree is, I think it's gonna be super helpful. Chase was so determined to get these gutters clean. He started even like removing pieces um, so we could clean them better. And I was so glad he did because when he took this little curved um, gutter part off, it was completely crammed full. So there is no water getting through that. So that is not good for our roof. That's not good for our house. So we're gonna work on getting this cleaned out, but I was shocked how crammed <laughs> these gutters were. I know these gutters look like they've seen better days, but I promise you once they're cleaned out and screwed in tightly and then freshly painted, they're gonna work so well, they're gonna look brand new and it's gonna save us thousands of dollars of like ripping them off and putting new ones on. It's even saving us hundreds of dollars of just Chase going up there and cleaning them himself. So that's what I meant kind of when we were talking about this renovation. We're gonna do as much as we can as possible. As soon as I finish, 
finish, these voiceovers were actually meeting our family at the house and doing like a big demo day. Like we're ripping out tile and cabinets and I'm filming all that, so that'll be in the future. But anything we can do to like cut cost, we're gonna do it. But anything that we can't do, we have an amazing contractor that's helping us out. So it's just a little bit of teamwork and we're gonna work together and make this house just a beautiful, beautiful home for people to come stay in. so complicated all i wanted was your love it is time it should we break it I've been so guilty of saying, I would love mature trees. I want trees in my yard. Now having this house, it is so hard. Every day we go over there and I'm sweeping like crazy. Like there are always leaves everywhere, no matter how much I clean. And I can kind of see like the maintenance they cause. Now it's so nice to have the shade and they are beautiful to look at, but we've never really had big trees because we've always been in like newer additions and they do create a whole lot of work that I did not know about. Um, Chase is up on the roof now. He's just checking the chimney and then he's going to start working on all the gutters around the other areas of the house. This is how you know your gutters are cleaned out when you can put something down them and it all comes out at the bottom. And as you can see here, they have like taken off all the bottoms of our gutters. Chase is gonna fix that here in a little bit in this video, um, but I wanted you to see like how much dirt he was able to push through on all these gutters. Now I'm heading out to the back patio. Um, I loved these solar lights out here, but there is no electrical outlet here in the back of the house, even on the side. So they must have just been running an extension cord from inside the house. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off. I'm gonna order like solar patio lights to see how well they hold up. And then we kind of want to do it like our patio in the backyard where they're actually above us, not just hanging on the wood. So that will be another project. But this is kind of what I was mentioning to you earlier. Chase is adding um, all the like extenders of the gutters because the whole point is to get that water away from your house. So he's just going around making sure all those are fitted correctly and it's pushing water away. As you can see, all of our gutters were just a hot mess, but they're all fixed now, they're all clean. I wanna show you, this is the door that we're turning the kid's bedroom. It was originally the master bedroom closet and we're turning it into the kid's space. They had walled this up. So all of this is gonna be fixed. There's gonna be new siding, but I kinda just wanted to show you this angle of the yard. I don't think I'd been over here with my camera yet, um, but this is all gonna look so good once it's finished. We have so much work to do on this house. We're gonna be staining the deck. We're gonna be adding light fixtures. We just got so many to-do projects. So if you guys like home renovations and demoing, all of that's gonna be coming out over the next several weeks. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.